and there we go. Now let's take a look. So, um, so maybe A is if he can work out his nonsense on his side, he can join us again. That would be nice. Other than that, I'm just going to start. So I think this one actually also has a front end. Yeah, this one. No, it's French, English, German, and um, Dutch. So I think it is... Oh, you are. You're from Middle America. That's cool. German heritage. Yeah. From Bavaria. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's pick this English thing. So yeah, there's actually quite a community um, doing sort of YouTube gaming stuff in Germany, in German, I guess. But um, we just decided to do it in English because uh, for once that is, I don't know, that's fun to do and we try to... I think one of the original ideas was to sort of improve our to improve our English speaking skills. And uh yeah. It it kind of worked actually. So That's a good idea. Uh, I would recommend that. All right. So, uh that was the front end. I'm not going to use the front end for this because that is just a little yeah, that doesn't work all that well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this from the DOS thing. So what do we have here? So we have, this is a later one. This is from 96, I think. You can see that it already has Windows games on it. So it has Windows 3.1 games. It has Win95 games on it. We, we can't do anything with that. I'm just going to look take a look at the DOS games. So because I've... I've not set up a uh, Windows 3.1, and I certainly do not have set up a Windows 95. That is something you can do from within DOSBox, but um, not right now. I don't have that right now. So um, we're just going to go into DOS games. And uh, let's take a look at what we have here. So we have a bunch of stuff here. That's good. So I think I'm going to... Yeah, there's some stuff that I... that certainly looks familiar and well, there's also some stuff that does not look familiar at all so um i think i'm going to i'm going to have a little change of pace here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait 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 i'm going to Oops, okay. I'm just going to go through the games from the beginning, I guess. And, uh, yes, diggers. Let's see. Let's see what we have. So it starts out with 3D Cube. I don't know what 3D Cube is. The thing with these old shareware CDs is that um, there were some things like... You, ha you have, like, the more well-known stuff in there, like the Apogee games, for example and so on. Um, you also have a lot of weird shit, like a lot of um, sort of first programs by a, a single person from somewhere and all this kind of stuff. So you get a lot of nonsense in there as well. So I don't know what we're going to find. Let's take a look. What do we have here? We have 3D cube. Uh, let's just start that. This just seems to be a Rubik's cube, actually. Okay, so it's mouth co mouse control, and um, that just turns that side of the Rubik's cube. I guess you can mix it up, right? Yes. Hey, it's a three D Rub Rubik's cube. It's not all that interesting. Oh well, <laughs> let's let it mix for a bit, and um, I'm not going to attempt to solve this because it's not going to be fun to watch, and uh, I'm. I'm terrible at Rubik's Cubes, so I won't I won't actually be able to do much here. There doesn't seem to be any sound in this. 
giving up so soon, register and receive the secret to solving the cube. Thank you for using my program. Okay. Right? That's it. So, 3D cube is just a Rubik's cube. That's something I don't remember playing back in the day. 3D pitfall. I think this is one I already know. Oh, no. 3D pitfall. This is one that I have played back in the day. This is sort of, yeah, 3D Pitfall. There you go. That looks great, right? It's by J. Shram, Shrambo? Sh Shramco. And this is sort of a Tetris clone. Speed level 1, skill level 1. Yes, let's start. This is sort of a 3D Tetris. Which, uh... Space to drop, yes. Which is... Sounds like a cool idea. On paper. But if you think about it a little, it's not that great of an idea. Let's see. Because it's sort of too complex in a way. And um, the great thing about Tetris is that it is so simple. So yeah. There is actually a game that is coming out. Or it has already come out. I don't know. I'm not following this stuff too much. But um, for VR... That is called Super Hypercube, and that is strikingly similar to this, actually, which is kind of weird. It's about, like, you have these little cube thingies, and you have to basically get that through a hole, which is probably more interesting than this. But, uh, yeah, this is 3D Pitfall. I remember playing this, actually, a bunch back in the day, but, um, yeah. So, as you can see, this stuff is color-coded, color and um, the higher you get... ...you get different colors, and they just repeat. So, Diggers. I, I remember Diggers. Wasn't that some sort of Boulder Dash clone, actually? Or something like that? Uh... Let's not do that. Yeah, well, that's me. That's my name. <laughs> yes, I'm gone. Okay. Let's see. Do I still have this set up? Yeah. So he, A is apparently still rebooting his PC. Or rather, his Mac. Because he has a Mac. Um... Oh yeah, the next one is Abuse. Abuse is a bit of a classic, actually. I, I remember being pretty impressed with that. Let's see if we can get this to work. Let's just do... Um, abuse dot... Yes. Abuse dot... Exa. Let's see if t this just works. Yes, it does. I think I might actually have to increase the CPU cycles for this. But, uh, well, this is abuse. It appears to be a demo version of the game. Okay, how does this work? Hey, yeah! I remember this being... I mean, I remember being pretty impressed with that. Because, uh, yeah, this aiming thing with the mouse and running around with the keyboard. That was novel to me back in the day. If you remember, like, even playing first-person shooters, we played those with just the keyboard. So, um, like Doom, for example. That's not like... This was like, oh, I've never thought of that, but this is awesome. So, yeah. This is a Switch. Yes, we're in a bit of a tutorial level here. This kind of looks like a little bit like Alien, in a way. I think this is very much, sort of, in terms of style, a bit of an alien ripoff to use special powers. And you can run! And we have sort of bionic legs or something. We can blow this stuff up. I think you actually, later on, you're fighting sort of alien-like creatures. Can we... Can you actually switch... Oh yeah. Weapons. Like this. Shoot hidden walls to destroy them. That's good. Press down to activate platform. Up arrow to climb ladders. Alright. Blow this up. 
Go down. Oh no. Now we need to run. And there we go. Alright, I'm not going to save my game because I think I'm not going to play much of this. But, uh, it's pretty sweet. Oh yeah. See? These are basically xenomorphs from Alien. Alright. Oh dear. I remember, like, being kind of terrified out of, of these guys back in the day. <laughs> I wasn't, like... I've never been, like, um... Been tough about, like, horror games and so on. <laughs> like, even today, I can't really play, uh... I can't play games where, like, you have little things that jump in your face. Weirdly enough. I'm just a big... A big wuss about that stuff. Like, in first-person games, especially. Um... I mean, I can, but it's really stressful to me. And I'm dead. I think that's enough of Abuse. Abuse was a pretty cool game. I think it was sort of a... It might have become freeware since. And um, I remember there was a time where this game was pretty ubiquitous, in a way. Like, lots of people were playing Abuse. No, I don't want a t-shirt. Please keep that t-shirt to yourself. Okay, and that's Abuse. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Ah, ba -ba -ba -ba. Alone 1. That could be a demo of Alone in the Dark 1. I actually did a video on Alone in the Dark 1 at some point. Alone 1... No, it, it's not. Microgames. Alone. This is shareware, please di distribute. It's from 97. So then, this is even later, actually. I thought this CD was from 96, but it seems to be 97. Alone is a computer program for the game Abalone, okay. Abalone is a board game. It's sort of a, a, yeah, a very simple but very fun board game. We actually had a, let's say, a physical version of this. Uh, I don't know how this works. How you, how you do this, okay. Um, I actually had a physical version, we had a physical version of this game back then. And, um, is A back? No, oh, he doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Don't know what he is doing. No, that didn't do what I expected it to do. So what you basically have to do is you have to take, like, these... You can always move groups of things in one direction and so with four with four of these stones you can push three or less stones and you have to basically push out um all the enemies things and uh, that can get actually highly strategic and uh, it's kind of fun actually the thing is yeah it's probably not something that you want to play on a on a computer and i i'm not really sure how the controls of this work. I haven't quite figured that out. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna play this right now. I remember this game having really, like, the, the physical the physical game, actually, having really cool haptics. It was really, it felt really good in your hands. It was those perfectly round balls <laughs> that you were just pushing over the... It felt really good to play. I remember that. Um, okay, Amazon. Yeah, I'm just gonna dig through this stuff. Let's see, what do we have? We have... Oh, that seems to... Oops, that seems to be a demo version of Flight of the Amazon Queen. Might be. Might be that. Sound Blaster. Yeah, playable demo of Flight of the Amazon Queen from 94. Flight of the Amazon Queen, um, Binary Illusions Adventure. 
I'll go upstairs and get Miss Russell. Let's skip this. So yeah, this is a LucasArts style adventure game. Uh, I remember this being actually quite good. And at some point, I think you could actually get this together with ScumVM later on, because I think the developers made this game freeware. And um, I think it's mostly remarkable for... for uh, being... being kind of... Uh, a also ran LucasArts game, but kind of also alright, <laughs> so I don't know, I don't really... So Davos is asking if I've ever played Unreal World. Yes, I have actually, in fact, played Unreal World. It's a cool game. I like Unreal World a lot. I haven't really... I didn't really dig into the game too much. Um... It's super deep and super cool and super awesome. Like I love the graphical style of it, like the like all the all the photos that they took in forests and whatever. It's so great. Um Yeah, it's super deep. It's really great. Yeah. This is actually something um I don't know. Like right now Caves of Cut is sort of my roguelike that I'm playing. But I don't, but this is something I want to dig into at some point, actually, and really get into that game. So I've actually... I've, I've played some of this game actually way back in the day. That's like, like almost a decade ago or something, right? I mean, the game has been in development since 93 or something. It's something crazy like that. And um, I remember playing a really old version of this. I think it has come out on Steam, hasn't it? So maybe I can actually... Maybe I can actually buy this. I always like... Yeah, I like... Um, if you have the oppo If I have the opportunity to spend money on uh, these games, I like to do that, actually. Oh, thank you, that's really nice of you! I don't know, aren't there, are there many YouTubers playing Caves of Cud? I haven't really... I, I don't really look at other people playing it because um, I kind of <laughs> I kind of like finding stuff out on my own. I'm not gonna play much more of Amazon Queen. Let me just exit this right now. I don't want to restart, no. Can I... how can I exit this? Aha. Uh -huh. Give up? Yes, I do want to give up. Um... Oh yeah, okay. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I try to I try to do this stuff kind of. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. The weekly challenge in case of Kurt is kind of not, or the daily challenges they are not really. That's not really what I like to do because um, they are just they they are just randomly picked things. I was like when they when they brought them to the game, I was like, hey, that's really interesting. Let's do that sometimes. But um, since they are just like randomly picked builds, they never really work out all that well. And um, like working on a character build is like a lot of the fun in this game. So um, yeah, I, I have just I I think I tried the weekly challenge like once or twice, and maybe the daily challenge once, and then I just stopped with that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Me too. I've not. I'm. I'm. I think I'm going to try a. Um, at some point, I'm going to have a look at like mental mutations and so on. That's actually something I maybe want to do for one of the next characters, but uh, just to get a sense of it because I've never really played those. Um, but I'm also like generally I like playing rogue or warrior builds. A lot, as you can see, because that's what I'm playing all the time, right? Um, what's Atomic? Let's go into Atomic. What do we have? It's just one exa. Yeah. Oh, okay. Seems to be a puzzle game. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I'm going to... I'm probably going to take a look at those characters at some point. They are powerful, but you find them too squishy. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. <clears throat> You die so quickly in this game anyways, right? 
So, um, getting yourself super bulky or super dodgy is actually kind of a kind of a good thing. So, um, the run that I'm actually I've actually recorded a lot of Cave of Cud. <laughs> I've recorded already like up to episode 46 or something. And uh, this run is going to get interesting, I promise you. <laughs> this is actually my furthest run that I've ever had, so uh, yeah, a little tease there. But I've done some stupid stuff, so uh, you're probably going to hate me at some point. What can you... this seems to be... Uh, what? okay. Yeah, this seems to be a basic. This seems to be a basic puzzle game here. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just um. Uh... So I, as I said, I got farther than I've ever gotten, and um, I did some stuff that because I didn't know what I was getting into, that probably wasn't great, but. <laughs> That's how it goes. But I really learned a lot, so that's that's always good. That always feels good. This is not great. Let me just... Can I end this? Can I quit? Can I quit the game? This is not fun. I think I'm just going to exit the DOS box right now and go back in. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. <laughs> Almost, actually. You know Golgotha? You probably know Golgotha, right? Yeah. I got through that. I got through that fine, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting into. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yep, indeed. Yeah, there's a lot of sludge down there, right? And I was like, hey, sludge. Oh, well, you're going to see. I'm not going to spoil anything. So let's, uh, let's leave that for later. All right, let's take a look. Hey. Hello. Hey, you're back. Y yeah. Yeah. I was checking out some games, um, and I was basically... Uh, I see parts. I saw parts of it. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think it's something weird with my internet connection because now I am in my Mac OS system and it's the same problem. Oh, weird. Okay, well, maybe you can hang out anyways and just... Yeah, yeah. well, I'm a bit, a bit, a, a, several seconds behind Okay. and it's in 140p. <laughs> okay, well, but, okay, uh, yeah. Let's yeah, may, maybe we just can... Have a random talk a bit. Yeah, okay. I was just chatting with Davos about uh, about Caves of Cud a bunch, and um, the games that I've already tried weren't all that interesting. Like, the last one wasn't that great, so... Yeah. Um, so, the next one is Avalot. Let's pick Avalot. What do we have here? Um... Well, I can't it. read any of this. That's a giant thing. Edna.exe or go.bat. Let's do that. That probably works. Press any key to continue. Avalot. This looks interesting. Okay. Um, play the game. One. Yes. Also. Oh, Davos is saying, I want to wait till the mod chest hole tile set is almost done. Yes, I have had my I've had my eyes on that. Um he has done some cool tile set for other games actually. Uh yeah, it's actually I like the tile set of Caves of Cut as is a lot. I think it's really good looking. What the fuck is this? I don't know what this game is. Um but I'm actually I actually like playing Yeah, for yeah, right. I actually like playing roguelikes in ASCII because that's something I've um, grown up with, sort of. 
Yeah, yeah I have to admit, someone not playing roguelikes mm. is uh, much more enjoyable to to watch with than uh, not in an ASCII. Yeah, it's kind of tough. You get when you're playing yourself, you get used to it, but um, it's kind of tough to it's kind of tough to <laughs> handle. Yeah, Cataclysm. Cataclysm is also a really cool game. Do you know Cataclysm, eh? Um, I think I heard of it, yeah. but it's not really. It's like a super deep sort of apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic, like, I think it was zombies and so on, roguelike. Uh, it's, it's really cool. Maybe you should check that out, actually. It's, it's like a classic roguelike. I think it's... Um, it's like it's an ASCII roguelike, but it, there are people have made tile sets for it and so on. So um, I don't know what this game is, like this right now that I'm playing here. Yeah, have a lot. Can I wake up? You can't wake up. Okay. It, it's oh, oh, it's a parser. Of... It has a parser. Okay. Um, wake up. Oh dear. Something is going on. Stop. Hello. Hello. Okay, I talked to this guy. No, it's okay. So Davos is apologizing for distracting me from my shareware. But as you can see, this shareware right now is um, strange anyways. Error ready. Wake up immediately. Crapulous has messages for me. Yeah, Crapulous. All right, file quit. I'm going to end this because I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Some sort of adventure game. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let's go back to DOS games and take a look at what else we do have here. So we have the next one is BB Trivia. It's probably just a trivia game, right? What do we have here? Uh, BSKT. Oh god, this looks horrible. Basket. Oh, it's basketball trivia. Okay. Good. So, um, are you a fan of basketball? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea <laughs> of basketball. Me neither. I like playing it, actually. Like, of all the sports games that you have to play in school, uh, that one was the one that I had the most fun with, and I wasn't, like, the most sporty kid. Yeah, me neither, but um, no, basketball was not, not my favorite one. No? Okay. No. Like, I liked it much more than football and uh, all this nonsense. Uh, well, yeah, I like it... More than football. <laughs> so let's answer some basketball questions. So, first one. Who was elected to the Hall of Fame as a contributor to basketball in 1959? Was it Arnold Auerbach, Claire Francis B., Dr. Forrest Claire Allen, or er Ernest Blood? <laughs> um, that was uh, B, of course. <laughs> Dr. Forrest Claire Allen. I also read those in the wrong uh, order. I, I kind of like Ernest Blood. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> Do you have Ernest Blood going through your names? <laughs> wrong. <laughs> okay, next one. Who coached the NBA Finals? Champs, Golden State Warriors. Uh, I don't even... I can't even read that sentence. Who coached the NBA Finals champs, Golden State Warriors? That's a team, okay. Who beat the Washington Bullets, coached by Casey Jones in four straight games? Was it Al Servi, Red Auerbach? We already had that name. Al Attles or Larry Costello? <laughs> Costello? Costello? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm terrible. Bad. That is probably C. C? Yeah, it was Al Evans, right? That was right! You are an expert on basketball after I all. I am an expert. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I'm going to end this game right now, because um, <laughs> this is not... Okay. Hey, someone got a high score. <laughs> you got a high score, hey. Wow. 
See? <laughs> I know all the stuff about the basketballs. Uh, yeah. So yeah, okay. Roguelikes. Um, Cataclysm basically is also a game I want to check out at some point. But as I said, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to concentrate on Case of God and play that for the time being. 1947 is when your dad played basketball. Well, that's cool. Was your dad a basketball player? <laughs> Devil said. Okay, um, what's that the next one? The next one is Black Star. That might actually be the Black Star we've already seen. So if it is, we're going to end this. Well, 47 was not uh, a so pleasant time around here, right? To play basketball. Yeah, there probably weren't that many basketball courts around in 19... I mean, yeah, it was after the real, um, really unpleasant time, but... Uh, yeah. Please make a sound choice. Sound card. This does not seem to be... I... No, that does not seem to be a game that we have already played. It's won by Thomas Vitaco. Yes, reconstruction time, indeed. Here's a quick bit of advice. All text messages in the game will only clear when you click the right, right mouse button. Okay, and so it begins. I don't know what, the, what game this is. Blackstar, Agent of Justice. Voluntarily rated PG-13. And for the most part, likes anything offensive. But... Oh. I don't even know what that is, what this <laughs> game is. I was about to ask, what is in this game? <laughs> so apparently the first episode is PG-13, and it lacks anything offensive, for the most part, except for the one really offens offensive thing. But uh, episode 2 is rated R, and is really fucking offensive, apparently. And to... I uh, want to know. Yeah. But I'm kind of having a black screen right now. I'm just going to increase cycles right now. Maybe that helps. Well, I, I interpret black screens as offensive. Yes. Good. Do that. We have... The game takes a while to get going. <laughs> Still have no idea what it is. Black Star, Agent of Justice. There you go. Intro new game. Um, instructions. I'm not going to do any in instructions. I'm just going to start a new game. Of course. It's and here we are. How you start games, right? It seems to be an adventure game, probably. My p yes, it seems to be a point and click game. All right. So much for that. It appears to be hanging straight to me. Leave it alone. Yeah, then just okay. Leave it alone. Yes. The mouse is weirdly slow. My personal information center. There's a map on the wall. I actually like the graphic style. Yeah, it's kind of cool, right? Uh, let's take a look at the personal information. I'll sit for a few. Hmm. Oh. It's really slow, so I think I'm going to increase cycles a little more. Uh, so like it's weird. Computer up. Yeah. The weird thing is, now I have really high cycles and it's still slow, so maybe that's just the game. So you hover over a thing and then like a description will appear. appear. The thing is, sometimes it's really slow and it doesn't appear or it doesn't appear until a while, but you can't get the description again, apparently. Now, now it's back, okay. The bracelet was crafted by an ancient member of the tribe. What tribe? Answering machine for all those important calls. Okay. Sure, let's check my little black book. I don't know how to do anything. Oh dear, okay. I'm running out of patience already. Choose this is because you did not read the instructions. Yes, probably. <laughs> you might actually be right, but uh, don't, <laughs> don't, 
don't be reasonable here. I can't, <laughs> I can't handle reasonable things. Okay, that's that. So it could potentially be cool if you are willing to dig into it, I guess. I wonder what the offensive stuff was. Yeah, yeah. me too. Oh. I act actually want to see the offensive stuff. But we only... We have to play this game only to see the offensive stuff. Yeah, but um, I think we only had episode one, so we wouldn't have seen any of the really offensive stuff, so... Well... Bogler. Bogler is a good name. You want to play some Bogler? Sure. Boggle me up. We can play this in VGA, in EGA, in Hercules, or CGA. So I'm going to play in VGA. Boggler. So many options. This is boggling my mind. What do you have to do here? Time's up. Uh, play? <laughs> Time's up? <laughs> Before you start... Do you... Do you have to find words? So when I press a button, it says time's up. So I T? No, time's up. I don't know what what you have to boggle here, but uh, moot? Time's up. I don't know how this... <laughs> this is great. This is a fantastic stream. <laughs> Nothing... There, there, there's a button that says how to... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I, saw, I thought it says how to play? No, press P to play. So you can play okay. again. Or you can quit. But, uh, um, that, and, yeah, yeah, not the end. It ended. To register, send ten dollars to Solaris Systems. A cop. If you register, you will receive a copy of the game Mega Boggler, and a clear conscience. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I think I'm boggled enough. Mega Boggler. Mm -hmm. That's a good name, right? Yeah, that, I like that. <laughs> Next one is Bolobox. Okay, Bolobox is f by Solo Software. For the creative user, we have seen those guys before. Also, oh, yes. Also seems to be some kind of... Um, some kind of puzzle game. Hey, fun. Um, arrow keys to move marker. Spacebar to mark tile. Wherever into the shareware called Escape Velocity. I don't know Escape Velocity, actually. I have played Terminal Velocity, which was some kind of um, sort of 3D shooting game. I don't know what Escape Velocity is by Ambrosia. Hmm. No, I don't actually know that. What kind of game is this? What do we have to do? You have to basically make everything red, I guess, but it changes everything. Oh, yeah. It changes everything to the opposite color all the time. Oh yeah, it's that kind of... Uh... Yeah, and I'm not really playing this the way I'm supposed to be playing it. It's a space game. Huh. Sounds interesting. Tell me more. Well, I don't know, but um, Yeah, uh, let's quit this. <laughs> Maybe going through them in order is... Uh, Maybe yeah, maybe we should uh, just pick. Look for fancy names again. Maybe. But I want to play like more games that uh, we don't know about. Maybe we can skip some games with, that don't sound all that interesting. Haven't we also tried bolts already? Bolts or not? Um, I don't know that name. I think. Okay, and then let's try bolts. Or do we? Oh, uh, not enough. Uh, maybe it's what well, it was on the other shareware version yeah. CD, but uh, yeah, I don't think we started it. Okay. Um. So Dava says, "Escape Velocity is an old mid '90s space game where you can trade and pirate, or join the rebels or the Confederation. It's a top-down 2D game. Sounds actually pretty interesting." Yes. I'd say that too. It's kind of an elite-like game, apparently, right? Oh, Jesus. Bomber. Let's play Bomber. 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 Uh, oh! What? Do, do you remember this one um, space game? <laughs> you know? <laughs> that one space that game? One sp yeah, how, how was that called? I think that was kind of a uh, 95 in the title or something. Do you mean yeah, Warpath war 95? Yes! Yeah. Warpath. 
that was actually also a nice game. Yes, that was fun. You had to kind of, sort of, yeah, it was about like, I think, it, wasn't it for Windows, actually? Yeah, I think that was for Windows. For Windows. Mm -hmm. For an early Windows system. Why is your screen turning? Uh, <laughs> because this game does that and I'm game over. It's a shoot 'em up, but it's really bad. That's Bomber. Okay, and there's a newer Escape Velocity game called Escape Velocity Nova from the 2000s. Okay. I think I'm going to check, check Escape Velocity out at some point. I'm going to make a note of that, actually. That sounds like something that would be in my alley. I kind of like these kinds of space games. There is actually... Yes. There is actually... I don't know if Davos knows that game. Do you know the roguelike Prospector? Pro no. Prospector? That's a cool one. That is also sort of a space exploration roguelike. It's really tough. And you basically have to uh, you have to explore planets and um, make money by exploring planets and finding resources and so on. But it's really like the planets are really, really, really tough. It's like oof, they really they they will kill you, and it's it's really cool. It's basically yeah, it's it's something. I'm not gonna play bricks i think yeah that sounds like bricks yeah it's probably some kind of breakout clone or something b sport what about that one yeah sure b sport maybe basketball sport yeah and we are all about the basketball games here on, on yeah. the another dying channel at least it's it's not baseball hmm. hopefully like the neo geo <laughs> baseball game we played yeah that was bad <laughs> and we totally screwed that up <laughs> bs plus achtung okay it's in german <laughs> achtung dies ist ein dies ist ein scherber product um, Schare, oh, it's a blood sport blood sport um what is blood sport uh and uh, this is a little strange right now. Okay. Um. Oh, cool. Yeah, thanks, Davos. But well, I think I'm just going to check it out first. And um, yeah, and then I'm going to see. Oh, so this seems to be a karate game, actually. Oh dear, this is running way too fast. I need to reduce the cycles a lot. Okay, I'm frightened. <laughs> okay, it seems to be a basic karate game. And this guy who looks like... He's just punching me out. Just a basic... Uh, fighting game, huh? Oh yeah, thanks, Davos. That's really nice of you. Yes, I, uh... <coughs> God, I... <coughs> Jesus. Sorry about that. Gesundheit. <laughs> um, I don't know how to punch, actually. So this might actually not be... That, that's the best part of fighting games. Uh, to not know how to punch. Yeah. Yes, I, yeah, um, so, I can just jump, like, I can make somersaults over that guy and just annoy him. Hey. But why would you call that blood game, blood, blood sport? sport? I don't know, probably because it refers to sort of martial arts in a way. And I'm dead. Yes, but martial arts are not... Blood sport, yeah. Maybe it's like, re maybe you can do fatalities or something. Uh... <laughs> Let's not bother with that. When was the first Mortal Kombat uh, developed? I don't know. 91, 92 or something like that? Hmm. There's BS Pro 1. Is it Bloodsport Pro 1? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's try that one. Well, it's the pro bullshit one.
The what? The the pro bullshit one. Yes. This is Brainstorm Pro. Okay. Well, this is probably That's... also a puzzle game, right? Yeah. Press left button for level one. Connect them or right button for menu. That is strange. Wait, yeah. Those are controls. <laughs> yeah. So what do you need to do? Okay. Yeah, it's you need um to connect them. Yeah. Hey, this is a game I understand. <laughs> yeah, this Oh, oh no, there's something here that's Oh, ah, I know. Dup, 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 dup. Come on. Go up here. Oh no, and now everything is fucked. Okay, so that doesn't work. Let's try this again. Please try again. Yeah, sure. Try again. Yeah, this is kind of... Um, Alright, this is sort of a... basic puzzle game, but in a good way. <laughs> like, puzzle games are the best when they have like really simple basic mechanic, but then do a lot of cool stuff with it. I don't know if this is going to do a lot of cool stuff with it, but... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, I forgot the name of the game. Is that uh, not... Okay, so the arrow on the block indicates in which direction it will fall, I think. Okay, yeah. Right? That makes sense. Oh, and these change the things to something else. Uh-huh, I can see what's going on here. Ah, I know how this works. Ha! This is good. good. So this over here. Yeah, this could be a cool game, actually. This could be a cool little puzzle game. Yeah, I, I see how that actually is fun to play. Okay, so what do we need to do? I think we need to get those over there. Ah, okay. Hmm. I can't really help you because my uh, stream is just... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's a bummer, but... Uh... Okay, I think it's still, still teaching me the mechanics, but... Uh... Okay, let's do one more and then... Uh... I'm going to end this, but uh, I would actually be willing to play some of this game. Yeah, me too. I like puzzle games. Yep. Yeah. You've been playing the Talos Principle recently, haven't you? Yeah, I'm. About, yeah, I'm playing the Talos Principle at the moment. You like it? I really enjoy it. Yes, that. Um, I have to say. Uh, so far, I like The Witness as a puzzle game a lot more. Okay. But um, The Talos Principle is a lot more than just a puzzle game. Yeah. It's basically, um, just, yeah, a philosophy. <laughs> a philosophy, yeah. It's a, like a philosophical... Yeah, I have, I have heard about that, that it's actually... Um, so I'm not going to play C chess, I guess, because that's probably just going to be a chess game. <laughs> and I and guess, yes. There are millions of computer chess games. Um, the next one is called Chewy. I have an inkling of what that might be. But uh, let's take a look, right? Sure. Go. Um, that might be one that... Oh. No. I hope we work. find a gem like last time. Like Captain Zappen. Captain Zappen, yeah. Yeah, Captain Zappen was uh, was something. That was... After the stream, I'm probably going to render the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. The, stream, the Captain Zappen. Yeah, maybe we're just going to upload that. That's a f That was so good. That was so good. Like the whole Captain <laughs> Zappen thing. Um, we should name that like um, another die or... Like, A and J discover Captain Zam <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> so the next one is called Clock. Do you want to try it? Clock? <laughs> yes, sure. Clock. So, um, Clock me up. maybe we should, like, do bets what this is. It's... Maybe... So is it a clock? If it's just a clock, I will be ha very happy. I, I wish it would be a clock. So, clock. But maybe it would be an adventure game. It's Rasputin. It's Rasputin? But that's what's on the screen right now. Oh, okay. Select, demo, play. So it's VGA graphics. It seems to be 
kind of advanced. Demo levels, okay. Could also, looks like a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game. God damn it. What do you have to do? Uh, Captain Zatten. Easy peasy. Or not, because I don't know. I like the the icon. There's an icon down there that's just a news, <laughs> which is a little morbid, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see that. Let's click it. And yeah, that ends the game. So, oh, um, yeah. That's a good. Sure. That's it. Um, that's a good metaphor for ending a game, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Killing yourself? <laughs> yeah. The next is called Club Bill. Club Bill? Are you interested in Club Bill? I am so interested in Club Bill. So let's take a look at Club Bill. It's Club Bill, but mill.exe. Okay. Oh! Um, der Club der Billionäre. The Club of the oh. Trillionaires, I guess. <laughs> it's by Johann Meyer and Michael Wüst. Those are good names. Wüst der Bursche. Yes. Uh, recently I was um, at an Indian restaurant and um, their, their menu was amazing. It was like full of typos and so on, but completely adorable. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> it was so great. I, I love that. Player one, J. Okay, let's start the game. I, so, um, yeah, it seems to be some sort of... So you have a Agnes Carter. And so you can draw cards. You have to invest. Börse. So you have stock market, investing, Häuser. So sort of like real estate. You can <laughs> heirate. Okay, marry. Or wedding. Arbeit is work or labor, I guess. Bank and jackpot. It seems to be some sort of capitalist indoctrination, I guess. Yep. Better not play this game. <laughs> yes, let's not do that. <laughs> okay. Uh... No, I don't want any more... Capitalism. <laughs> yes, it's basically about that. It seems to be some sort of economic simulator, in a way. It's with uh, Deutschmark. Huh. Can I end the game? <laughs> I can't. I can't end the game. I'm just going to bring end. up the news. <laughs> the news. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ambrosia, the developers of Escape Velocity, are apparently the website is down. But uh, you can still download the game on on the internet. Okay, and have then you have to enter the key for the full version. Uh, okay. Yeah, as I said, I will I will check that game out. Yeah, me too. Um, because I like these kinds of space games, actually. I like... Yeah. I've been playing a bunch of Elite Dangerous, actually. I, I, w I always wanted to you go did. back to the game, because uh, now that I have a fancier graphics card, I think my computer will handle it better. So I, I think I'm going to go back to playing some Elite Dangerous. And um, I'm going to play some Escape Velocity as well. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay. So um, the next one is called Comp Quiz. Do you want to do you want another quiz game? I think I don't. If, if, um, or maybe well, maybe it's fun. A more interesting topic. What's more interesting than basketball? I can't imagine anything. Uh... <laughs> Or everything is more interesting than basketball. <laughs> it's a computer trivia quiz. Computer trivia? Oh, made, okay. Made by Shoestring Software from Las Vegas. Enter Let's the number of players. Let's play ourselves. Let's play... So I'm Jay. Um, welcome to computer trivia. Blame ourselves for what? Sorry. Oh, you want oh, to? Sorry. Yeah, we're going to embarrass ourselves. That's what you mean. Yes. Yes. I'm. I'm sorry. That was. Yeah. Yeah. 
I didn't complete the sentence. A computer in operation for over half a century was used to write sophistic. So A is was used to write sophisticated codes that the Germans believed to be undecipherable. B what you was used at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds to calculate ballistics tables. I think this is just for nerds. <laughs> this is about. <laughs> I think this is a trivia about computers. So yeah, what I there are, like, expected. There are a lot of very specific trivia games on this, like very specific of the specific topics. Uh, I have no idea. Let's. Uh, I am going to. That was wrong. New game. Complete the sentence. The inventor of token ring passing has made a substantial fortune from his patent, was Andy Tannenbaum, is the network systems group at Carnegie Mellon University, was a dining philosopher, is anonymous. I don't know. I have the, the, the last thing. Is anonymous. E. Sorry, that was wrong. So um, you're more of an expert on basketball than you are on computers, apparently. Yes, of course. Which of the following is not a quote by Edgar Dijkstra? Oh, yeah. That, that's a cool guy. Yes. Um, a. Pascal is not a language. B. Referring to those who know basic, as potential programmers, they are mentally mutilated beyond hope of regeneration. <laughs> so he seems to have been an elitist when it comes to programming languages, I guess. Um, the use of COBOL cripples the mind. Its teaching should, therefore, be regarded as a criminal offense. <laughs> Go-tos are considered harmful to good programming. Or, it is practically impossible to teach good programming to students who've had prior exposure to BASIC. I don't know. Well, I, I, I this. know for sure that Pascal is actually a language. Yes, I know it, that it is, but these all are sort of elitist things about basic. I, I'd Cobalt. say that the, the, the Cobalt thing. Yeah. No, I accidentally pressed X and it said that that was wrong because it's only A to E, so that was actually true. Um, <laughs> But now I want to terminate the program. Yes, it could also tell me, no, X is not an answer. But uh, no. <laughs> X. So the next one is Conk NW, which could be a demo of Conquest of the New World. You know too many games. I don't, as you have seen here, but... Uh, <clears throat> Now you have to install it, so let's uh, not do that. <laughs> let's do the next one. Cross O. Probably a cross puzzle. O? No, cross O. It's probably a crossover or something. It's probably a puzzle game. The next one is Dame 12 or Dama 12, which is probably a... Dama game? Yes. Next one is Dan Solly 5, which could be a solitaire game. Not going to play that. Next one is Dig Down. Let's do Dig Down. Sure. Because I always like to dig down. Into the hole. Maybe... Uh, uh, God damn it. That... Um, um, the names. I can't remember them. Uh, I don't remember how to... How to talk? No, how to do the thing that it stops at each interval in DOS. W is white. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can do go. Yes, you can. Digital, digital Downs. It's apparently about horse racing. Uh, oh, it's not dig down, it's digital downs. And that horse is carrying a flag which says accidental. <laughs> um. Oh, because it's by accidental software. I, I'm not interested in horse racing. Oh, it's about betting on horse racing. That, that's even worse. Yes. 
enter my name, um, enter start money, a lot of start money. Yes, this information is okay. No, no other person will play ever again. Uh, don't you owe me money? Don't you owe me me money? Uh -huh. I don't want to bet on horse racing. I really don't. I can think of a lot of things I would rather be doing than betting on horse racing. So let's end this and uh, let's go back to DOS games. So this is a later shareware thing, actually, and it has um, it has Windows 95 games on it. But uh, yeah, next one is Diggers. Do you want to dig? Let's dig. So Davos was actually talking about Diggers when the stream started. So let's see what that is. I think I might remember what that is, but uh, it is by Millennium Media Group. Diggers. Oh no, I don't know this game actually. Maybe you have to dig. Welcome, Master Miner, to the mines. Oh, I must pick diggers. Yeah, I've never played this. I think I've heard about this game, but uh, I've never actually played it myself. You need to, you need to pick a zone. Dobbs, Azerk. Let's do Dobbs or Elevate. How can I pick a zone? Can I can I even pick a zone? Press the buttons. There are no buttons. Hmm. So this might all not work out. There's a question mark here, but I uh, can also not do anything with that. Oh yeah, this one works. Let's go in. Raise 600 cash to win. Huh. It kind of looks like a Lemmings-like game. But I think I have played a game called Diggers that was sort of a... Uh, that was sort of a Boulder Dash clone, but... Yeah. Davos said that he has not played this game, too. Yeah. Hmm. We have these guys. Well, this seems the, to be the, the, that actually reminds me a bit of uh, Clonk. Yes, that was also what I wanted to say right now. Oh, this guy dropped down, and are you dead? No. And um, yeah, we can have him start digging. Have you dug anything up? No. I I think this might be too um, complicated for yeah. you. I mean, it looks kind of intriguing. This looks like a game I might want to check out at some point. But, yeah. A mining mm. game. Yeah. But he says Davos oh, says that it was more like a Pac-Man on crack. Which sounds intriguing, definitely. So, then I'm also thinking about something completely different. Next game is Duke Nukem 2. Want to try some Duke Nukem 2? Or We have played Duke Nukem du 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 Oh yes, we do. Um, and then the next one is again Jump, like the D-S-C-H ump. Oh yeah, we have not played this one, right? Yeah, we haven't. Oops, not Atomic CD. Jump. I think it didn't work from the other CD, actually. Yeah, because of the... Yeah, the front end. Homebrew Software presents... Jump by Peter Hintz. Unregistered version. Ah, I remember this game. I Yes, I have actually played this back in the day. Let's start. It's password easy, okay. So what you're basically doing is you are a ball that's constantly jumping and you have to get to the end without... Oh, um, that game! Yes, I remember, remember that Remember that one. too? Okay, yeah. cool. So uh, we probably both played it then. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes. What does that do? Okay, that actually reverses your direction. And yes, you have to basically time that stuff to... Uh, 
get over those dark chasms. Yeah, that's... Well, the, the games like this are not too uh, unpopular these days, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, right? Like for phones and so on, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, I think you could. This would actually work on something like that. Yeah, the sound effects are fun. Um, why would you destroy these red and blue blocks? No, I'm not. Don't want to go back. Oh. Do they give you points? Or something? Yes, they do give you points. Okay. And they have like a fun sound effect when you go when you um when you do that. It says, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which yeah. Is, also, the password for this level is Duden, which is sort of the um, like the general German lexicon. It's kind of comparable to sort of the the Oxford dic dictionary, but for German, <laughs> I guess. Yep. I don't know why um, that was the password. Maybe it means something else. Duden or something. I don't know. No. I'm fucked. Let's go. It says, look up basic words. Let's go. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to end the game. But there's jump. That was a nice blast from the past. To see yes. that again. Frack. Is the next, one. next game is, yeah. Frack. Could be for fractal. Or maybe this is a game about fracking, I don't know. Wanna try that, or...? Sure, yes. Fracking? <laughs> uh, frack. Uh, some kind of puzzle game. Apparently. Oh no. Level 1, layer zero. Oh! No! It's a, um... A, another 3D Tetris thing. But with, um... Fractal backgrounds. Oh, great. Can you rotate the stuff? Apparently not. And you... God damn it, that looks... <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a fractal image. So, yeah. I mean... I was always kind of fascinated with fractals, but... Uh, I'm going to do this, and I'm dead. Game over. Press any key to continue. But what if I don't want to continue? Can I end exit the game? No. You can't oh, exit I can't. the game. I accidentally full screened DOSBox. Okay. Um... Ah, still haven't found like a gem. So how about we just pick some now yes. and not uh But I can't read. Okay, I'm going to read some out. So say if something sounds good to you. Framed Golf Solly <laughs> Greed Grind War so, like, Grind War, but without an I. Hathor 3. What? H-A, and then Thor, and then 3. Okay. Hugo. Oh, so, like, Hugo? It's probably Hugo's House of Horrors, right? right. Um, this is a different CD, but... Uh, Idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Let's... That, that's good. Yes. It could also be just a quiz game, but... Uh, Idiot. No, it's a card game. You idiot. <laughs> I think there's actually a card game called that is Idiot. Actually, that makes sense. I think I've played a card game called Idiot before. So let's not play that. <laughs> um, let's... So Ego. I-G-O. Illusion. Indie Car 2. Kalach. What? 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 Kalach. Yeah. K L 
K A L A K H. I well, think let what let's see what that is. This sounds va vaguely familiar. Um, but I don't know. Whoa, whoa, only uh, hmm. Okay, it seems to be some sort of puzzle board game thing again. But cool graphics? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you do? Uh All right. Yeah, um I have no idea what I'm doing, so Exit. Can't write, possibly disk full. Yes, because I'm running this from a CD from my not CD because it's in CD image, but uh Okay, so uh da -da -da -da. next one is King Arthur then L Lone Eagle Lone Eagle Lone Eagle <laughs> something like that. <laughs> the next one sounds good, that is man carts. So carts like in Mario Kart and it's oh, man okay. carts. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, K.exe. So, EXE. What do we have? Virgin. It's by Virgin Interactive Entertainment. Okay, so this is something bigger. Probably a demo of something. Manic Media Productions. This is a card game. Is it called? It's probably called Manic Cards, right? Yeah, maybe. Go karting. Let's go karting. Let's race some carts. That is a nicely I've... rendered intro. Yes. Whoa, dear me. Christ. Okay. This is... How can I drive? I can only drive backwards. <laughs> that, that has uh, the look of... Um, I don't know how to steer. Road rash. Rope. It kind of has, right? Like yeah. a similar... Or can I steer? I can't steer. Use your wheel. Ah, oh. ah, there it is. Uh, this is well, interesting. I've never heard of this game before. And it looks good. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Man cards. <laughs> Maybe I should check this out for my old racing game playlist. Yeah. There was another one in the last stream, right? Yeah, the the Ford simulator thing. Oh yeah, the Ford simulator. Oh yes. <laughs> yep. I think we're just running around a parking lot here. Yeah, looks like Well, it looks yeah. like London. Yeah. The sound is kind of terrible, though. Oh no, wrong, wrong thing. I'm eighth. I think enough. It has finished, and I fucked this up. Okay, that was kind of interesting, and now I get horrible graphical glitches. Okay, so I still want, kind of want to know what the name of this game is. Manic Carts. Yes. Okay. Good, good to know. Cool. The next one is M. Carlo, probably Monte Carlo. Next one is Mega Man X. I did not know uh, that this game. Uh, let's see if that is Mega Man X or, or if, if this is, is just a ripoff. I don't know. Mega Man X, crazy. I if it actually is Mega Man X, I've never MMX demo is the the executable. Oh. It's like, yeah, Capcom. Mega Man and Capcom. This is a DOS version of Mega Man X, apparently. Um, did not know. This is totally Mega Man X. Yeah, yeah why would I buy it for my Super Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> isn't, isn't it, like, super expensive on Super Nintendo? It is super expensive, yes. Yeah. I think there are sort of Mega Man X collections or something that you can get. 
So there, I think there is a Mega Man collection on Steam, actually, right? But uh, not for yes. Mega Man X, right? It's just... Uh, yeah, it's the old NES games. Yeah. They are cool too, so... <laughs> yeah. This is actually not bad. This is not a bad port. It works well. That's... that's good. I never knew that it... This kind of blows my mind. I never knew that Mega Man X was on DOS. Man, I just... like... If I had Mega Man X back in the day, that would have... I would have played that so much, I think. <laughs> yeah? That would have been right up my alley. I really can see how that would be the case. Would have been the case. Uh, yeah, this is totally Mega Man X. Yep. Cool. Well, always learn new stuff. <laughs> okay, uh... Let's go... Those games... Crazy! Mega Man fucking X, okay. Meister, Mind Cube, M Mind, which is probably Mastermind, right? And now we have Mühle 12. So we had Dame 12 and this Mühle 12. So this is probably what that is. Yeah. <coughs> Mule, Knight Dos. Knight hmm. Dos. I want to quickly try this. Because it could be something that I sort of remember. Oops. Oh, it's Nightmare 3D. Yes, indeed, it is. Nightmare 3D. Yet? I think you you know that as well. Let's yeah, see what that happens. name. I somehow know that oh, no. name. I missed. Took it for something else. Nightmare 3D is actually a terrible game, but um, yeah, I thought it was something else. Sorry, uh, but uh, yeah, I also know this, but it's not good. It's so, it's a first-person shooter. It's a um, it's by the Hugo's House of Horrors guy, and uh, here we are. It's sort of a Wolfenstein-like first-person shooter. Oh yeah, I remember the title screen. Yeah, it's it's not good. It is not good. I mean, well, I remember it not being good, but right now it seems to be at least competent, I guess. It works, so I don't know. It looks nice, at least. Yeah. Going back to old first-person shooter games, like, from the pre-Doom era is not really... Like, even Wolfenstein is kind of is kind of rough. Nowadays, I find, um, yeah, Doom is kind of where things became sort of great, I guess, <laughs> in yeah. that genre. And then, like the later stuff, yeah. Oh, uh. bats or gargoyles or. Yeah, sort of. I think it thing. just has some sort of spook house theme, right? They seem to be... I think they are supposed to be bats. <laughs> the sprites are kind of bad. <laughs> so... Yeah, that, that is an, a weird environment. Yeah. So we have like this sort of classic first-person shooter trope there, where... Uh, your health is indicated by a face down there. Kind of want to see how this face. Let me see if I can find an enemy. Um, <laughs> how this face changes so. when yeah. we are getting murdered. Yeah, this basically controls exactly like Wolfenstein. And it's, yeah, pretty similar. So, I guess. Yeah. Basically, a Wolfenstein clone with worse art. I think it turns what, into a what, skull. What are these uh, turning eyes? I don't know, actually. I don't know what they do. Yeah, your face just turns into a skull. 
But it it weirdly just it doesn't like you don't get bloody and it then turns into a skull. It just kind of fades into a skull, which is strange. Do you also have uh, these weird in-game artifacts? Yeah. You yeah, yeah. Her? Yeah, yeah. It's not in on the stream. It's actually that that is in weird. the game. Order now. Very. Uh, yeah. I don't want. I don't want to order this. Okay, that's Nightmare 3D. Turning Sh into a skull. Yep. That's what this is all about. Oak Flat, Osmosis, Pac PC is probably a Pac Man game. Uh, Pickle, Pyro. Want to try Pyro? Ragnarok. Pyro, yeah, of course. There seems to be actually Screamer seems to be on this. What was Screamer? Oh, that the, that the game the you game. recorded, yeah. 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 Pyro. Hopefully, we can. Oh, it's by Psychnosis. Pyro. Oh, I don't know this game. Pyrotechnica, is it's called. Who is Psychnosis? They made, for example, Lemmings. Oh, okay. Top-down view, east-west view. Start. I actually oh. want to play Lemmings again. It's a... It's a three... Wow, this is cool. It's a little too... Too fast. I can't really... It has really good frame rate and it's smooth but I can't handle how fast this is moving right now because it's also I'm also oops no I did not want to do that hopefully I haven't fucked up the stream um, yeah it's sort of a descent like apparently but yeah I can't yeah oh dear <coughs> incoming IR this looks interesting it does. There's no, there's no sound and nothing, but, and I, I, I think I'm just missing something here, and I think it's running slightly too fast. But uh, that's interesting. Is it supposed to always go forward? I, I don't know. That's why I said I think I might be missing something here. Yeah, that's um, that's that. I think I'm. Yeah, I've just ended the game because I can't figure this out. Uh, shall we do one more or something? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the the thing with these with this kind of stream, you can also just run into a situation where you just get nothing really interesting <laughs> for most yeah. of the time. Like well, you, there, there were, were some... Yeah, um, there was some interesting stuff. Nice games. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's Runaway. I remember that one. I think that's sort of an adventure game. I just remember that it's an adventure game where you are an ape or like a monkey in some sort of cage and you have to get out. Okay. But, don't know. There's schnapps. <laughs> well, so, Runaway is also a nice song. By whom? Bronsky Beat. Oh. I Yeah, I think I I know that song and because I have it in my head right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't really have that in my... Weird. Uh, well, let's play Runaway quickly and then maybe call cool. it a day. Speed. The Pixel Team. The Pixelated Team? Yes. This is that. I, I have played this. I have, could never figure this out, this game. Like how to get out of this, how to, how to get out of this cage, but weird, this has more graphical detail than I actually remember. I thought it was, uh... Yeah, it actually looks kind of nice. 
but I don't remember it. Yeah. So you can pick up stuff like this knife, for example, but you don't really have an inventory, of course, because um, because you're, on you're monkey. a monkey. Yeah. Use with door. Can you? Can you use the knife with the lock? Can Can you use the banana with the bird? <laughs> use. I I can't figure this out. Put down, put down the knife. Okay. Use with what can I use? Nothing. Okay. Um. The bird is super annoying, actually. Use with bird. That doesn't do anything. Hmm. Hmm. I bet the bird is part of the problem. Okay, I put. Uh huh. Oh, he has a key. Oh, yeah, you can talk to the bird. Uh, yeah, there was... Now a guy is coming. Okay. <laughs> Step him! Oh, I got the key. I got the key. Step the guy anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Can I use this with the fucking door? I can't. Let's put down the key. At least I got another key. And now I'm going to pick up the knife. And I'm going to stab the guy. <laughs> he says, Ahem. This fucking bird kills me. Makes it chirp chirp noises. No, it makes... <coughs> 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 It really does! <laughs> <coughs> oh god, that was bad. I should not have tried to make that noise. God, that just killed my throat. Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> that, was, that was a great uh, imitation. Now I can't put down the knife because the monkey says I don't want to put it down. So you have to use it. Now I could put it down. Pick up key. Open door. Ah, okay. <clears throat> yes, and and now. Okay. <clears throat> Will he put me back in back inside? To keeper's house. Okay. Well now weirdly <coughs> my cursor is a B. So I've now I've now gotten farther in this game than I've ever gotten before. Also, this screen kind of looks terrible because, um, like, the bush and the trees in the background are clearly from photos. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't, I, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mesh at all with anything else. But was it in English all the time? So maybe this yeah, is may why maybe you that's the figure that out. Yeah, maybe. I think this is not a good game. <laughs> let, let me get the knife. Oh, let's see. It's all about the let's stab the frog or something. <laughs> yeah. Pick up knife. Yes, that's actually you. You read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> stab all the things. <laughs> stab the frog and the lion. <laughs> Just murder the whole zoo. <laughs> Use with not drain. I can't. I can't actually do anything with the frog. This Can you not... open the frog <laughs> with the knife? Open frog. Jesus. <laughs> now it says use with frog. I can't. The, the stuff you do, you know. Can I talk? To... Oh, I can talk to the frog. Hey frog, why are you jumping here? I think he wants a fly or something. Okay. Let's go back to the ape's cage. And uh, let's talk to the lion. <laughs> Come here, I fancy for ape roast. Okay, so the lion is not friendly. Uh, I'm going to end the game, I think, and I'm going to end the stream. So, um, right? Right. I think yeah. that's enough. So, um... Quit. So yeah, 
thanks for joining me. Thank you, A. Thank you, Davos, for hanging out. And uh, yeah, I will, I will, I will definitely check out Escape Velocity, and uh, I'm going to take a look at, and maybe I'm going to come back to you for the stuff. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I guess this was sort of a aimless thing, a little, but uh, that's how it goes, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's that. Thank you, A. For hanging yeah, out again. Thank you. Even if things weren't really working out. Yeah, you have to go with what you have. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you again at some point. Bye. Bye.